in materials and instruments, we need different reagents like lysis buffer, proteinase K enzyme, sodium dudecyl sulfate, ethanol, and isopropanol. In instruments, we need pipettes, piper tips, vortex, centrifuge machine, and deep freezers to store the DNA. Now, in the basic steps of uh, DNA extraction, there are six core steps involved. The first step is the cell lysis. Second step is the digestion. Third is the phase separation. Fourth step is the DNA precipitation. Fifth step is the washing by the ethanol and then air drying and the storage of the DNA. First of all, we will take the sample to extract the DNA. And the sample that we have is the human blood sample. We will take 200 microliter of We will take 200 microliter of human blood. And we'll add in each tube. After the addition of 200 microliter blood sample, we will add 1000 microliter of lysis buffer. So we will pick the pipette which is 100 to 1000 microliter and will set on it 1000 microliter. Now we will add the 1000 microliter lysis buffer in each sample. After the addition of 1000 microliter lysis buffer, we will vortex the sample for 5 minutes. This is vortex machine and we will now vortex the sample to homogenize the mixture.
After the vortex, we will centrifuge the sample at 13,000 RPM for 15 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. We will keep the samples in centrifuge machine. It should be remembered that while keeping the samples in centrifuge machine, centrifuge machine should be balanced from each side. Centrifugation will be done at 13,000 RPM for 15 minutes at 4 degrees Celsius. So we will set the centrifuge machine at 13,000 RPM at 4 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and start. After the first washing, we will discard the supernatant and at the end of the tube, we have a pallet which contain our DNA. Pallet is actually a collection of cells where the DNA have and after these steps, we will go for the cell lysis through the digestion buffers. This was our first washing. We will discard the supernatant preventing the pallet. Now we will again add the 1000 microliter of lysis buffer and we will again do washing until the pallet become colorless. For the second washing, we will again add the 1000 microliter lysis buffer.
after the addition of 1000 microliter lysis buffer we will again move to centrifuge machine and will centrifuge the samples for 15 minutes at 13000 rpm at 4 degree celsius after the second washing the results will be like this you can see the palette has become somewhat colorless but we will again do the third washing until the palette will become totally colorless we will discard the super natant preventing the palette again we will add 1000 microliter lysis buffer for third wash Now again for third washing we will centrifuge the sample on the same conditions as previous like 13000 rpm speed at 4 degree celsius for 15 minutes after third washing the results will be like this the palette will become colorless we will discard the super natant preventing the palette After the three steps of washing when the palette will become colorless we will add 20 microliter of proteinase K The basic function of the proteinase K enzyme is to digest the proteins as we know the DNA is associated with histone proteins for its packaging inside the nucleus of the cell so the proteinase K proteinase K will digest the proteins which will lead to the specific extraction of dn we will took that pipette within a range of 20 microliter in order to add the proteinase k in the solution after the addition of proteinase k we will add the 80 microliter of sodium dodecyl sulfate which is commonly known as sds the basic function of sds is also to denature the proteins basically sds is a detergent that imparts negative charge to all protein and we know that dna also contain the negative charge so when all the proteins get the negative charge they will get repelled from the dna and will be separated from the dna so sds is also used to digest the protein we will take the pipette within a range of 10 to 100 microliter in order to add the sodium dodecyl sulfate we will set the pipette at 80 microliter
after the addition of 80 microliter STS, we will add 250 microliter of buffer A1, which will be used to stabilize the DNA at the required pH. We will take pipette of range 100 to 1000 microliter and will set on 250 microliter in order to add the buffer A1 in the solution. After the vortex, we will incubate the samples at 58 degrees Celsius for overnight digestion in water bath. The basic purpose of overnight digestion is to obtain the DNA purified from the proteins. So the proteins will get denatured and digested overnight with the help of SDS proteinase K and the buffer A1. We will keep the sample for overnight digestion in the water bath at 58 degrees Celsius. Water level should be enough that our sample should be dissolved from the bottom. 